Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new here. I'm back with another doll to unbox and this time I wanna give a very special thanks to Moose Toys for sending me this doll for free. I'm very excited because today I have something that is totally different from anything that I've opened on my channel so far. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's take this out of the package. Oh my gosh, <gasps> what? Yo, okay, I was not expecting this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> These are so cute. This packaging is so cute. This is adorable. I was not expecting to get two. Okay, this is really cool. Ooh, what is this? So these are Magic Mixies Pixlings. And we have three different dolls that potentially could be in here. I mean, just one doll is in it, of course, but there's three different ones that you could potentially get. I am noticing though, right off the bat, that everything about these packages are the same, except, do you notice the difference? This one has the pink gem. This one has a blue gem. So I don't know if that means anything. We'll find out. We're gonna open both of these. Okay, so this packaging is very adorable. I'll just show you this one up close. There's a little gem on the top, I believe, and some nice details and nice textures and shapes. Yeah, it says Magic Mixies Pixlings. Who will you magically create? Over here, it says mix your potion. A pixling magically appears. And then on the back, some more images and text here on the back, as well as down here. This is really cute. Like I said, this is totally brand new to me because I haven't done any type of surprise reveal or water play doll or any fantasy doll. I was just saying in my last doll haul video that the closest thing to fantasy that I have is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Everything else is just a human. So this is exciting to finally have a Magic Mixies Pixling. Let's go ahead and let's just open this. It looks like over here it shows us not to use scissors, but to just peel this off. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that I removed that first wrap, there's some stuff back here that is attached with a large clear elastic. So I'm gonna remove this and this one up here at the top. I will also show you right here, there's a little tag that sort of shows you what's inside. So we get one vessel, one small doll, one set of ingredients, instruction manual and collector's guide. We need to find the instructions. So let's see, we have two, this one is labeled two. There are some pretty easy instructions here on the back, A, B, C. Okay. Oh, I think these are also, I'm not sure what these are. We will find out, but these were in there. This one says five. Okay, so I'm seeing two, four, five, six. We've also got this. And this one has a QR code, so that way you could scan it for an easy how-to video. But I imagine that it shouldn't be too complicated. We've got some pretty clear instructions right here. I've not read through them yet, so let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's read through these and see if we can figure it out. So, potion making can get messy. Place your potion bottle on a plate for easy cleanup. Pour in your pixeling powder elixir. Oh, so there should be an opening. So it looks like I have to remove this first. I see, okay. And then this says right here, remove. So I'm gonna remove it right now. If I can. Okay, so we got that out. So I got a towel and I also got some water just in case because I think I will need it in a little bit. So we need to cut this or I think you could maybe not use scissors if you don't feel like it. Okay. Okay, and then we need to fold this over. And then I guess we just pour this in here. Okay. Oh, so this is like a blue. I think I need to cut it with scissors. Don't try and peel it with your hands, just use scissors. So this is like a very bright, vibrant blue. Okay, there we go. So fold and then, oh! Oh, okay. Yes, definitely be careful and have a towel handy. So step three is to fill the potion bottle with water. Yeah, it just says fill with water. It doesn't say warm or cold or anything. So I'm just using kind of room temperature water. And then there's a little line on here that sort of indicates how much water you need to add. So I'm just using tap water. 
So we've added the water. It's this really cool blue. Oh my gosh. Okay. So sprinkle in precious petal, which is number four. So we have to open this. Oh my gosh, cute. Okay, so I'm opening this one. There are some little, some petals in here. That's really cute. Then it says to pour in this, which is the Pixeling Magic Elixir, number five. So let's go ahead and uh, same thing as number two. We just have to cut the top and hope that we don't make a mess and then pull this up. Oh my gosh. More blue stuff. Then we have to add a dashing antler. So let's go ahead and open this and be careful not to rip the little antler that's inside. Very cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. Now it says remove the golden ring to reveal the magic words. So I think right here is the golden ring. And let's try to remove this. This comes off like this, it looks like. Ah, okay. Here's our magical word, magicus mixus. So I removed that. Now it says turn the crystal gem until it stops. So let's see what happens when we turn this. Okay. Okay, it stopped. Now, step number nine. Say the magic words and push down hard twice on the crystal gem. Release and wait a minute to turn your potion clear. So, let's go ahead and let's try this. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Okay, here we go. Say the magic words with me. Magic Magicus mixes. Mixes. Ooh! So now, I think we wait for it to transform. Oh, I think I'm supposed to look at it this way. Oh my gosh! Wow. Okay, this happened really fast. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is really cute. Okay, so I think we can remove her now. It says to unscrew the lid now and then pull the cylinder out. The thing that I like about this is that the doll in here, she's actually not in the water. The water is around her cylinder that she is inside of. The doll does not get wet which I really like because wet dolls can just be very messy. The, the cylinder that you pull the doll out of is wet on the outside. Let's go ahead, let's figure out how to take this off now. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, great. And then, yeah, we just pull the doll out. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, ooh, this hair quality is really nice. Let's take her out. And the doll is just very, very easily placed inside this plastic. There are no wires that you need to cut. So let's take a look at this doll. I'm gonna clean some of this stuff up really quickly. Okay, so here we have our little doll and she's really cute. She's got this beautiful pink hair, two shades of pink. The hair is super, super soft and silky. It's so smooth. I have no idea what type of hair material this is but I'm sure I can look it up. It's really cute. There's a there's no product here in the back. Of course, here in the front, it is gelled down to her face, which I, I like the way that it's shaped and styled like that. So I'm gonna keep it like that. It is pulled up into a little clear ponytail up there. She's got these magic antlers that are so cute. And her face is really adorable. This face paint is really cute, very detailed. Further down, she's got these cute ears. So she does have a molded on top, but she's got a removable fabric skirt and then also removable plastic shoes. She's got molded on gloves, super cute. The skirt is Velcroed in the back. The top has these cute floral pattern details that are sort of 3D as well. Now down here, she can sit, but she does not have knee articulation. So she can't bend her knees, but she can sit. And again, she has arm articulation. So she can rotate her arms up and down and outward. She also has some good elbow articulation. So she can wave. She can rotate her head sort of up and down and side to side. Her head is nice and not loose. It was actually a little tough to get it to rotate at first, but of course I prefer that than a loose wobbly head. Lastly, we've got these shoes, these cute open-toed boots, sort of platformed. 
and the boots are removable. So I think off the bat, my favorite things about this doll is the hair is so soft and silky. She's rooted pretty well too. I mean, the hair is pretty thick, so I love that. And it's really shiny too. And the face painting is really cute. And I didn't even notice she has like a little gem in her forehead, like an inset crystal gem. It's plastic, of course, but in her forehead. So that's cute. You could probably do some cute hair stylings with these dolls. Of course, I would always prefer fully removable material clothing. On a doll this small though, I really don't mind molded on tops. The fabric skirt is really cute and it has this added fur detail in the front. And I think the boots are adorable as well. And I love her pink color scheme. And on the bottom of the shoe, we've got a hole so that way she can be placed on this stand. So here she is on the stand. It can be a little flimsy, so just be careful. But once you place her on a flat surface, she's totally fine. She's not gonna tip over, so I think I think she's adorable. Let's open this one and let's see who else we've got. Ooh. Oops, I totally missed. And I'm gonna ask you all to say it with me. Magicus Mixus. Something is happening. She's so cute. I am obsessed. Now we can finally take her out. We can pull her up and out. Oh my gosh, look at her hair. It's so shiny. Wow, so adorable. Look at her. And her hair is so silky and smooth. Oh my gosh, look at this hair. Stunning. There is no product in this hair. It is totally soft, dry, and smooth. She has a gorgeous face. Shiny, iridescent mermaid ears, of course. She has articulation. She's got a molded on top and a fabric removable skirt that Velcros in the back. She also has these adorable removable sandals and some extra fins on the side. She is so cute. And now she can finally join forces with her magical pixie friend. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys will check these out once they hit stores. They have a suggested retail price of $17.99 and I believe they will be available in August. So definitely check them out. I think they're super cute and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.